Richland, and welcome to the second Raising Monarchs Behind the Scenes episode. These are episodes that don't necessarily deal with a milkweed or monarch-focused topic, but show some things that are, well, behind the scenes of the series for those who are interested. Now, as always, I like to be honest with my viewers, so if you came here for some monarchs, well, this episode's all about dogs. See, over the years, the Raising Monarchs series has had some guest appearances, both intentional and unintentional, of our pod companions. But many changes have happened in the last four years, both planned and not so much. And I figured that a behind-the-scenes episode could maybe flesh out some of those details and explain some of the new faces we'll be seeing, especially for those who have asked about the dogs in the past. When the Raising Monarchs series began in 2014, we had two pugs, Louis, the male, who was five years old, and Sasha, the female, who was two and a half, going on three. As the series progressed and episodes were filmed, amidst life schedules, in between train whistles and neighboring lawnmowers, sometimes Louis and Sasha were in the shot, living the dream and doing their thing. From sniff checks of all the materials being used on set, to helping us schedule when to take breaks and early lunches, they were sometimes on camera, sometimes off camera, but Louis and Sasha were always present. What's up, Sasha? Come to be a star. You come to be a star. Give up. High five. High five. High five. High five. Or that. High five. Give up. All right, we'll look for truffles. Sadly, in 2021, we had to say goodbye to Sasha. She had come down with a very sudden immune deficiency issue. Now, also in 2021, we found ourselves with the opportunity to make a home for a new addition. A rescue from Texas who had seen some rough times, we promptly named Roxy Balboa. I couldn't help it. I love the Rocky movies. And to this day, I still shed tears during Rocky III in that one scene. Roxy is estimated as a pug-chihuahua mix, as reported by the rescue. But I remained skeptical, and they remained honest that that was just their best estimated guess. This summer, we're going to get the DNA analysis done so that way we can find out what we already know. That she is perfect in every way. For the last few years, while we adjusted to the new residence, Louis was there to show Roxy the ropes. How to nap, different places to take naps, and his specialty, uh, possible snack locations, futures, and opportunities. Earlier this year, though, in 2024, Louis, at the ripe age of 15 and a third years old, he found his way to the clearing at the end of the path. We took both of these passings pretty hard, of course, but after Louis's passing, Roxy needed a cohort. She loves to play, and from the ages of 13 to 15, Louis did his best to keep up. But with him gone, it was pretty evident that Roxy needed something more. And thus, introducing our new female pug puppy, Aluminum Oxide. We call her Ruby for short. When we met Ruby, she was the most bashful, shy, introverted puppy I had ever encountered. We brought her home, and her introversion very rapidly melted away. She might not look it right now, it's a little bit early in the morning, she's still a little tired, but she is complete hell on wheels. She is currently going through that velociraptor stage of puppyhood, where she is chewing on any and everything, and testing the fences for weaknesses. And I must admit, Roxy was a bit perplexed at Ruby's new arrival the first two weeks. Roxy had a bit of the attitude of avoid when possible. She wasn't too keen on being a new chew toy. Six weeks in, though, with Ruby, and Roxy has started to... Okay. Six weeks in with Ruby, and Roxy has begun to warm up to her. Roxy and Ruby love chasing each other, taking turns as to who's in the lead. And Roxy's still being chewed upon by Ruby a little bit, but she's tolerating it more. I think she's understanding she's become a big sister. And while Roxy has been slightly introduced to Monarchs over the last couple of years, this will be Ruby's first summer to find out what it's like at the Lund household. It's actually going to be your first summer just ever, and you're going to find out what summer is like too. So, as the Monarch season gets underway here in Michigan, I have an ambitious list of videos that I'd like to make for this season. And likely some cameos and guest appearances of the pups in the... Com that yawn through me. And likely there's going to be some guest appearances of uh, our pups in the future. For those who wanted a, a bit more and some understanding as to why we were going to see some new faces, well, them's the deets. But I'll also go a little bit further. 
some behind the scenes of behind the scenes. I didn't really realize it when I was making the videos, but after losing Louis and Sasha, the videos where they make appearances, be it the Raising Monarch series or some other videos that they had a hand in, or a paw, those videos became a lot more valuable to me. For my own selfish reasons, I suppose, I will appreciate having made this video in the future. Because you're only going to be this size for a little bit. I'm Rich Lund. Thank you very much for checking out this behind the scenes of Raising Monarchs and meeting our co-hosts. We'll see you in the future.